Today's video covers variance and standard deviation in statistics. While measures of central tendency, such as mean, median, and mode, indicate the position of the values in a statistical series, for example, to obtain the average value of a statistical series, the dispersion parameters are used to examine the spread of individual values around the mean. The dispersion parameters include variance and standard deviation. Variance is the mean squared deviation from the mean. In other words, with the help of variance, we want to determine how far, on average, the individual values of a series of numbers lie from the mean of the series. In statistics, we refer to this as the spread around the mean. If the values are close to the mean of the entire series, shown here in red, we speak of a small spread. However, if the values are far from the mean, we can speak of a large spread. The formula for calculating variance is variance equals 1 divided by n times the sum of esa, the mean, or the arithmetic mean, squared. Now on to standard deviation. Standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. The variance is squared to ensure a positive value, and with the standard deviation, we simply take the square root of the variance to obtain a meaningful value that can be directly compared to the examined data series. The formula for calculating the standard deviation is, therefore, standard deviation equals the square root of the variance. Now let's consider the following statistical series. We have seven different used smartphones being offered at different prices. We will now examine the spread of the prices using variance and standard deviation. First, however, we need to calculate the average price of the offered smartphones so that in the next step we can examine how far the other prices deviate from the average price using variance and standard deviation. This will allow us to determine whether the smartphones have a comparable price level or if there are significant price differences among the used smartphones. As mentioned, we first need to calculate the mean or arithmetic mean to then compare the other prices with this value. The formula for calculating the mean is 1 divided by n times the sum of xc, which is the individual prices of the offered smartphones. Substituting into the formula, we get mean equals 1 divided by 7 times, 70 plus 100 and 20 plus 190 plus 70 plus 50 plus 65 plus 130. The mean is 85. This means that the average price of the used smartphones is 85. On average, the used smartphones are offered at a price of $85. Next, we will calculate the variance by substituting the values into the formula. For n, we use 7 because there are 7 smartphones in total. For x, y, we then use the various prices and subtract these from the mean of $85, squaring the result. We get the following values, which yield a variance of 764.29. By the way, variance can be calculated much faster using another formula. You again calculate 1 divided by 7 multiplied by the directly squared prices, and then subtract the square of the mean from this result. Of course, we arrive at the same result of 764.29. Unfortunately, we can't do much with this squared value because the variance of 764.29 isn't particularly meaningful in relation to the prices of our smartphones. This is where the standard deviation comes into play. We take the square root of the variance, which gives us a standard deviation of 27.64. This sounds like a more useful value because we can now say that, on average, the prices of the used smartphones deviate by $27.64 from the mean of $85. In relation to the mean, this is a relatively large spread. Therefore, the prices of the offered smartphones show a rather diverse price range. We hope this video has helped you understand the topic of variance and standard deviation. See you next time and have a good one.